All right, here we are, me and Paul, tackling the next, the next project. There he is. He's ready. <laughs> going up the ladder. You like that? You can watch me while I'm going up the ladder. All right. This is our apparatus for receiving the bricks that I'm going to throw from demolitioning the chimney. Throw the bricks on the thing. They slide down right here. Paul grabs them, throws them in the dumpster. All right, you got it? Great. Awesome. <coughs> huh? There, your head. Go. Action! Oh, <laughs> this is what you do! You put the stuff right there! It goes down there! <laughs> it almost made it. It almost made it! That wasn't even part of the plan! Paul's usually standing right about there to keep them from falling off from the edge of the roof so that they don't fall on the ground so we don't have to pick them up again. <laughs> Either that, or we could skip the whole plywood problem there and you could smash cement in your face and then we could just skip the plywood and, and just throw them in there. And miss. And miss. <laughs> Say goodbye. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Paul. That's perfect. So, here we have the progress of the chimney. No longer visible. That is because I got it below the roof line. And if that's all we were doing was just removing the chimney from the roof line, we would at this point just be adding a couple of furring, furring boards onto those rafters and then we close it all up. But I'm actually going to try to get more of those bricks out of there from the top side so it's a little easier. So that it's a little easier once we come into the second floor to start taking care of, or to start pulling the rest of the chimney down, because there's quite a few feet to go before we get all the way down to that kitchen, is, is if you remember from, from the previous videos. Anyways, uh, and Paul's inside preparing the walls, getting the walls tore open so that we can have access to the chimney itself to tear it apart. That's what he's doing, and I'm still out here. You can also see, I suppose, it's not just a chimney project, it's also a roofing project. You have to peel back your shingles to a certain point so you can, so you can uh, um, put, put your new shingles in place, splice them in, so to speak, fix it up so it's watertight. All right, that's it for now.